my mornings are hard. Sometimes they're really hard. That's why most days I take off for the office first thing in the morning. But on a good morning, like a Saturday morning or a Sunday morning, my favorite thing to do is read the newspaper on the stoop to prepare myself for breakfast. Reading the paper, this is when I start asking myself the big, dumb, existential questions. Mostly about pop culture. I wonder who's hungrier. The ballet dancer Is Tiger still the addicted wrestler? to sex? Why don't American Janet marshmallows Jackson and Marilyn Manson both had rumors circulating about having their lowest ribs or removed. Am I so too much what else do they have in Was common? Was condition a good band? Is there I any chance know. Daria will be tall? I probably shouldn't have gotten rid of all of my CDs back in the day. They might be worse than they What if Madonna's they? asexual, are they? What if? Wow, this article's written so well. I should well. have done more drugs when I had the chance. Am I a good writer? Write it, write it, write it, write it, write it, write it. Remember any of the titles to anything. Today's the, the day today's I the day. read the great American novel. I'm gonna novel. write it, that great American novel. Okay, but actually, actually, on my days off, I usually don't have breakfast until Daria goes down for his nap at noon, so it's kind of lunch, but I'm not calling it brunch. Oh, this is my favorite part of the day. Everybody's asleep or hiding from Dario. And I just look at my computer, probably doing nothing important. Oh, here, I pulled up my Kindle, trying to review what books I've read in the last few months. I'm not a big fan of ebooks necessarily, but since 2020 and the shutdown, it's become a necessary evil. Right now, I think I'm trying to figure out what kind of book reviews I can post on my blog. I wonder if Kat makes a better breakfast sandwich than this, because this is pretty good. My self-regard and anxiety speak at equal volumes in my head most days, so actually multitasking these various modes of thinking trying to write, trying to read, trying to eat all oh, at once. Well, I should they really operate be talking about toward the Turkish same goal. Breakfast. I'm not Those really sure what that is, but I can't wait to travel again. Breakfast usually a big breakfast. part of that. Breakfast. I wonder if I Japanese remember that time I tried intermittent fasting. L O L. If I'm being honest though, This is probably a little performed. I seem to have recognized the importance of creating routines for my son, Dario. But lately, as a middle-aged mom, I found the sameness of every day to be a source of oppression, and it's a shame. As a younger person, it was so important that I set myself up for some stability so I could afford the time and space to write. But now, when offered the opportunity to take this time for myself, I idle in envious wonder at all the people who dared to create a routine that prioritizes their desires, rather than adhere to one myself, or to even figure out what that time might look like. But I could also just be very hungry, so I'll have more to say about this after I eat lunch. What would I eat for lunch every day? If I think I, I had find it low key offensive when anybody prefers a sandwich or like rice. Always have to be for a good south size soba right rice. Now. It's okay that I make a good looking pie, even if it doesn't taste that great, right? I'm I mean, just gonna tweet that pizza's overrated anyway. to see what okay, happens. So for real, for real, I kind of hope Dario prefers Asian food over Italian food. Oh my god, I can't believe I just you said that. I don't think I like breakfast. I mean, not really in the way we're talking about breakfast, right? Like, breakfast is something you enjoy on a day off. I don't want to eat it before I go to work. Yeah. Okay, so what does that say about me? No, no. We're just talking breakfast, so how do you like to take your coffee? Light and sweet. 